So first and foremost, I absolutely believe we are in the junk wax era. And unlike, you know, sports cards in the junk wax era, we have a lot to choose from, which is normally good, I would say. But um, these are just the games that I visit on a website called TCG and TCG Revolution or something like that. Republic, TCG Republic, Republic. And you can see the diversity of games that are being offered, of course. Um, obviously, we have MetaZoo, we have Argent Saga that no one talks about anymore, Flesh and Blood, and uh, so on. There are too many card games and not enough actual players for the card game because at one point in time, if you're going to play Magic the Gathering, you're not playing probably Pokemon. You're not playing probably a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, people have a primary game and then they have secondary games, right? So in my opinion, uh, the the fact that there is just so many, so many card games is crazy. And, and uh, it kind of shows the complicated nature that is... Uh, that is Magic the Gathering in a ecosystem right now. There are plenty of card games that people are playing rather than Magic the Gathering. And many of them, like Locana is hot. Locana and Sorcery, I think they're the two big names on the block. And, you know, when, when you have a bigger name, you have to... It's like kind of out, out for investments. If he wants to promote uh, a sorcery, he has to stop promoting MetaZoo. There's only so many videos in a day that can be produced on any of these particular games. If you're going to produce on one game and tell people, hey, spend your $1,000 on this Argent Saga, you are literally telling them not to spend the $100 on something else, right? And... There are a lot of anime games that you probably have never heard of that are pretty popular in Japan. Uh, things are not looking great in MetaZoo, and some ga games go up, and uh, games go down, you know, <laughs> games go sideways. It is kind of where uh, the magic, it is, number one, all these games are in a desperate bid to basically, uh, in my opinion, sell as much as they can, as fast as they can. And that means overprinting, that means overprinting, if that means just absolutely decimating the marketplace for the actual game that means uh decimating marketplace for the actual game and when we have a situation that is happening in magic uh pokemon even pokemon cards are not immune uh the scarlet and violet sets have done terrible uh they're not doing very well financially uh singles or boxes and then uh yeah you look at tcg player obviously locana is a big one uh, my girlfriend does love Locana. I think we are moving into Locana from MetaZoo. We have a Locana YouTube channel together called Disney Locana. And we're working on some AI stuff right now for the cards. Uh, we might bring that over here if we find that it's valuable. But yeah, it's um, look at these games. My Little Pony, Osprey, Buck, Shadowverse, Sorcery, Star Wars, Destiny. Transformers, yeah, Transformer TCG took a, I think it took a massive bloodbath. I remember people were excited about that. Dragonborn, I know that one's gone. I actually play some of these games. What you guys don't know is, I play a lot more games than uh, Rudy Chan plays. Uh, I don't think he plays any games. But you know, I, Arjun Saga, that was a game that he promoted. Boxes are really cheap right now. And I think the game, I don't know, somebody correct me, I think it's dead. Um, I think it's been dead for over a year. Uh, this was a game that Alter Reality Gaming did and just never caught Steam. And, and like other games, like it's not just like a game by itself, right? It's, it's a lot of components. Um, Rudy did endorse this game. He did try to hype it up. 24-hour special, you know, this kind of FOMO, right, that was so popular back in the 2020s, right? Just didn't have any legs, you know, and a lot of games like MetaZoo, God forbid. I think MetaZoo could have been a good game if it wasn't Rudy promoting it and having a million promos. That really turned me off it. But at the end of the day, there was just a shit ton of games everywhere. And there's a game for every person now. So as Mark Marrow said, if it's not for you, it's not for you. You can find something that is for you. And like I said, you know, it's save your money you know find something find a community that likes you that you like the community it doesn't have to be big 
I, I talked about the f flesh and blood community, like Fabled Hunters. They do a good job. They obviously care a lot about their videos. Got about 3,000 YouTube views. I think uh, Argos was promoting this as well. Uh, yes, Argos <laughs> Anonymous, right? Um, he's big in the meta zoo. He's got like 5,000 like subscribers. And uh, again, the views on these card games, you got people and they, they be grinding out these games, man. They be grinding out these uh, games that no one knows. So they clearly love it, um, in my opinion, right? And just unfortunately, right? Un oh, here's another 24-hour special. Is it the same special? Different special? Um, I bet you that that package that he was selling is probably worth 5% to what he sold it for. Uh, if you could try, if, if you could even find an interested party to liquidate it. Again, liquidation is always really hard on dead card games because you're not really... There's not that many searches. You know, as somebody who does marketing for a living, it's just marketing. If no one eBay searching for Arjun Saga because it's a dead card game, then you're not going to really have uh, all that many buyers, to be quite frank with you, or any buyers, to be honest with you. Um, what I will say is that, you know, some dead card games are fun to do. You know, I play dead card games. I think it's... No, I think it's nice. You know, I'm not, like... I, I'm not a... a anti-proponent of dead card games i'm just saying that you have to be very careful how you spend your money in the next coming months uh jamie diamond said that there's going to be a recession coming soon and i believe him you know i believe a recession will probably hit uh given how things are looking like right now so at the end of the day be careful with your money anyone who has something to sell you be very very careful what they're selling because you have opportunities you have card games, you have different um, options. You don't have to buy from one guy selling whatever the hot card game is at that point in time. Uh, and having too much cardboard is a problem. Uh, take it from somebody who has rooms of cardboard, it takes a lot of space and it's, you know, I'd rather set it all, all on fire than take the time to sell it because, you know, my, my time is worth more than that and the fire will take very little time. So uh, anyway, my point is very simple. A, this is not really a great product. Uh, or, I mean, find something that you enjoy. And uh, it doesn't matter if somebody else is trying to sell it to you if you don't like it. It won't go up in price anyway. 